So it, if he had done it later, it would have been dried, and if he had done it before, it wouldn't have been there. Correct. He was so also that, hired 20 days before, prior to everything, too. Yeah, but how, like, how would he have, if he had put paint there to set up that photo, he would have to do it preemptively. Because Adrian is the one who spilled the paint in the first place. Right, right. And then she covered it up with the statue. Yeah. Then the next day we went down there, the statue was moved and the paint splotches messed up. So, about this camera that took the photograph... Uh-huh. Oh, come now, it's all too clear what you're thinking. Huh? You think I alter the timestamp on the photograph, don't you? I'm afraid that's impossible. That camera was set up by Lordly Taylor, and on top of that, it was Lordly Taylor's staff that printed that picture's data. Unfortunately for the defense, there's no way that picture could have been altered. I see. Unless it was, of course. Oh, yeah. It looks like I'd better find something else that could be suspicious. So, this is alibi is false, hmm? It has to be, or he couldn't have killed Mr. Bullard at KB Security. But, I'm not really spot anything unusual except for I did, I told you about it. Yeah, you did actually, but I mean, there's two possibilities though. What's yeah. that? Yeah, it's either it masked or a mask and the photo's a fake, or the photo itself. And then All we're right. back to the start. Mm -hmm. So... The, the photograph contains the words, in this case, it turns out to be my one witness, is that it? No, the time in which the camera was captured, I think. But I know they just kind of debunked what I kind of said. Yeah. Hmm. This feels in my tummy gut that when you present the picture, the security camera picture at that thing. I'm not using the white clear or anything, I'm just saying. Feels like that's what we do. I don't know. What do we want to present the security camera picture at? Uh, the time at which the camera captures mass start and mash at the same time as the murder, but it's probably wrong. Hmm. 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 Maybe ask him, like, what's so weird about this picture? And be like, look at the plane splotches! <gasps> When Adrian dropped the urn box two weeks ago, she also knocked over some paint. That was two, two weeks, ago, weeks ago? That's only 14 days. Uh -huh. That was two weeks ago that paint was there. Mm -hmm. So it, it would have been dried, like Snake said. So that must have been on a fresh day. When he was walking out with the box, I'm saying. Well, you know what? I'm gonna follow that, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking present this security camera photo at the time at which the camera captured or whatever. We're just gonna present it. Save scum. Save scum. Okay. Filthy. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. Load state. Load state. state. How about we present? How about we present the paint marks then? All right. Present! And... And... Load state. <laughs> I would, um... Maybe present the statue... At the, um... Yeah, I'd present the statue at the one before it. The photograph contains no words. Okay. So it's a different statement? Let's do it! Objection. What are we presenting here? Eh, it doesn't work anyway. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. I still think the statue is important. Yeah, it is. I mean, we it haven't has really to used it ever. Right. Or maybe we present the photo there. No. We're not cheating. Please don't report us for cheating for using safe states. 
Don't tell Capcom. <laughs> I have no idea. Look, we already went over that whole, like, the necklace thing or whatever. Necklace thing? Like, how he's not wearing that thing, because Ron went over why that happened. Mm. Actually, look at the... Look at the, uh, the security cam photo again. Yeah. Have we established that the one he's carrying is a fake? Because there's no paint on it. That's true, and she dropped it in the paint two weeks ago. So if he was carrying out the the correct one, it would have paint on it. All right, we can present the urn box then. On the photograph contains no words. All right, let's do that then. Nope. Fuck. Fuck. As the opposing lawyer, this feels unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Hey, opposing Lori, you got any ideas? Uh, what if you presented the actual picture of the paint splotches on that one that you just tried? Photograph contains no words or whatever? Oh, no, that doesn't, that doesn't work. No, it doesn't work, Doc. Wait, and the next one says that it was at the exact time of the murder? Yeah. Can't you do the exact time of the murder thing and then the paints or the one that in the description says it was two weeks ago or no? The paint splotches? Can I be walk through scum real quick? Do you guys have any harder good ideas? Nope. Alright. I guess we'll use the game facts lifeline. Yep. Right. We're just supposed to press, uh, after we've already pressed everything, we're supposed to press number three. So a photo contains no words, we press that one. We press it again? Yeah. We wouldn't have figured that out again. So by photograph, you mean this piece of evidence right here, is that correct? We already did this part. Can't even skip it. This, the. Thing that proves you committed the crime. Oh, this Surely is new. even you understand by now. This is new. Lordly Taylor provided that camera. There's no way I could have tampered with it. That means I could not have killed Kane Bullard unless I had an accomplice. <sighs> Come on. Think long and hard about that night. The basement warehouse and this picture that supposedly captures it. It's gotta be here. Isn't there something funny about this? You bet there is! Twinkle twinkle. Are you implying that this picture is a fake? You bet I am. There's definitely something strange about this picture. We took a look around the basement warehouse that night before the theft took place. And there's something in this photo that doesn't match my memory of that night. Bear, well then, let's hear what you have to say. The statue, then. Yeah. The box imprint's not there. Uh, wait, which one will we hit then? The box or the paint? Oh, also the box, yeah. No pay on that box. On the box? I think the box is pretty All good right. call, but... It could be either or, honestly. It could be the paint on the floor, too. Well, wait, exactly... The thing is, we're about that night that we saw, so it would have been that night we saw... It would have been, been the statue that's not there in the paint, so we'll just put it on the paint on the right. Alright. Alright. Take, that. Oh, yeah. Take it! The funny part is right here. <laughs> Look at that, it's hilarious! <laughs> I killed that guy. Why this? This is a blood stain. Blood? Really? Now this case is getting interesting. <laughs> um, not exactly. This stain is actually pink paint. Oh, just paint. 
and peach colored at that. From blood to peaches, this judge sure loves going on his wild tangents. <clears throat> the problem with this photograph is not the paint. The problem is, when you consider the layout of the basement warehouse, it turns out that something that should be there is nowhere to be seen. Well, Mr. Pratt. What is supposed to be in the picture instead of the paint stains? That's the statue. stench you got! Go! The supervisor of the treasure exhibit stated the following. Giant. Uh-oh. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime around noon. Noon, noon. That golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. Oh, uh oh. -huh. I realized that the statue would be perfect size for covering up the paint stands. Same. That's why I put it where you first saw it. it, it. <laughs> I, myself, was there the night the theft took place and saw the statue in that spot. If this picture was truly taken on that night, then there, there would then that, then that statue should have been there. Oh, but when I went there the day after the theft, that statue of the old bag was sitting in the corner. That's my grandma. <laughs> Fuck your grandma. Whoa. Perhaps it was somehow pushed there accidentally. Your Honor, this statue is slightly larger than yourself and quite heavy. It would take more than an accidental push to move it that distance. Ha! <laughs> In that case, can you prove it? Can you give us the rhyme and reason as to why the statue was moved that night? Can you do it, Nick? Never mind who moved it. The real question is, why did they move it? Poor picture. Well, Mr. Oh. Dad, I hope you are prepared with your answer. Now then, who was the one that moved the golden statue? It would have been at me himself, right? Uh, On the night of it, when he was at the thing. Why? Why would they do it? Why would he do it? Because he wants to make the picture that he took on a different day to look like the one that's happening that night. So he's like, oh, that statue wasn't there when I took that photo. I better move it. Hmm. Wait, say that again. All right. So what I'm going off of is that the picture, the security cam picture that took of uh, Master of the Mask, um, that was taken on a different day. So if he looks back at that photo and sees that the, that the statue actually wasn't there, he'd want to move it so he matched it up to his picture. Hmm. Who else would have moved it then? Mask Star to Mask. But who's Mask Star to Mask? Ron. Ron moved it. Ron, damn it, why? Ron, damn it. Alright, well. We could try to look at me. I mean, it makes sense when you think about it. Let's do it. Look at me. The one who moved the statue is none other than... Look at me! I'm looking. Come now, sir lawyer. There you go again on one of your strange delusions. Mr. Fried, what basis do you have for your strange delusions? It's very simple. The witness was the only one in the basement warehouse that night. Mm, that is indeed very simple, however... Why would I want to move a heavy golden statue? The reason for moving the golden statue... Here's where a battle really begins. Well, Mr. Fratt... What reason did the witness have to move that statue? The reason can be found here, in this photograph. Look at me. You pretended to be a mask star to mask. To create an alibi by showing you were 
at Lordly Taylor that night. But this photograph contains a single fatal flaw. No actual date. Oh, this is me saying this. If the statue had been there, your lie would be exposed like a cheap film at a drugstore. That is why you moved the statue. A single fatal flaw. Hey, Wilix! Hey, sorry! Interesting theory, please enlighten us! <laughs> Just where in the picture does this lie exist? On the actual time itself? Because there's no date. Man, look at that chunk of damage we're gonna take. I know. Oh, that's huge. That's a crit. I know. I wanna take it if we're wrong, though. Like, the only. Th it's either gonna be the time, or I would. I'm still think it's gonna be the imprint's not there. Because the pain and the imprint happened on the same day, or so we've been told. Well, they would have happened immediately because she knocked it over, right? Right, yeah. So I I still want to say that that's the imprint there. It doesn't make sense that it wouldn't be. The I paint hasn't been cleaned. The box also does not have the paint on it like it should. That is a lie. I guess. So wait, there was a paint spill for two weeks down there and no one picked, cleaned it up? No, we got busy exhibition shit to get rid of, get ready for, man. Christ. Hmm. Well, this could be three things. Time, the box, or the paint. I feel like we wouldn't pick paint twice in the same photo, so I'm right. either leaning, I'm leaning more towards box, and then I'm like 25% time, but no patience. All right, no patience. Anyone else uh, have any any uh, more leaning towards? Not really. I don't know about leaning towards, but I'm. If he was trying to hide the, or rather, what would moving the statue change? It would make his photo look correct. Well, why he moved in the first place is what's beyond me. Or I guess the, the statue wasn't there yet, because it arrived on the night, right? Before they opened up. So the yeah. statue didn't yeah. exist when this photo was taken, and then the night of the actual heist happened, he had to move it because that statue wasn't there in his photo. Right. Ah, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. That makes sense. So it either is the time or the... I say the time then. Why though? It doesn't have a date. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. That's the fatal flaw. There's no actual date. Okay, but if that's just what the security camera video looks like, then eh, maybe it's the date. Yeah, I agree. I think... I'd click on time. Yeah, but I think I'd that's also... the right call. Yeah. Yay! I'm gonna right on the do 56 it. or 50, 50. Alright. <laughs> Take that! Oh, you got it, dude. Nice. Naturally, the lie in this photo is the timestamp. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. On the night in question, Luke Adme went to KB Security and murdered Kane Bullard. Therefore... I, I just realized what KB stands for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too now. Nice. Wait, what is it? Kane, Kane Bullard. Bullard. Kane Bullard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, it's obvious. It would have been impossible for him to have been at Lordly Taylor at this time. Hmm. But what does that have to do with the stature being moved? Remember, if you will, Your Honor. When was this statue placed besides the warehouse door? Well...
Godot, what do you think? I think the statue was taken down to the warehouse on the day of the crime. And it was placed there in order to cover up the pain. Exactly. Luke and me had already decided on the time when he was going to kill the victim. And so, in order to create an alibi for that time, he took this picture days before the murder took place. What, what the? Of course, the statue hadn't yet been brought down to the basement warehouse yet. Ah. Uh. So, on the day of the crime, Mr. Atme must have been quite nervous. As nervous as a long-tailed cat in a rocking chair factory, so to speak. I'm nervous for that cat. I know. Everyone used to say it all the time. Mm-hmm. Why? Totally normal. Because something that wasn't supposed to be there had been brought down in place where it wasn't supposed to be. <clears throat> and that is why Luke Adme had to move the statue on the night of the Moida. He did it to make the room, which is the way, wait, made the room the way it had been in this photo. What? Uh. <laughs> order, order, Mr. Adme, is this true? One moment, Your Honor. Have you forgotten this? What's that? The data for the basement warehouse computer. According to this, the camera did indeed go off on the night of the crime. Objection to that bullshit! Hmm. It's true that the camera had been set up by the Lordly Taylor staff. <clears throat> However, the program used to manage that data was yours! That alone would have allowed you to tamper with the data. Uh, wow. We talked about this. Mr. Godot, what is the meaning of this? Godot, I warned you about making me wait and I put down that coffee. My eleventh cup. Damn. I promise to drink no more than seventeen during a trial. Which means, I'm still good to the last drop, baby. However, the defense has a very good point. A good point? So what? And that's gonna get him off. Watch. We yeah. have all but travelers on a road of infinite points. Um, I think you've got your points mixed up with other points. So you say this photograph was taken ahead of time? And that the statue was moved in order to make it match? That's a very interesting idea, however. There's one point that can't be denied. Which is? How good did coffee taste? Slurp, thank you. That it's only a... possibility. Men that are trapped by the chains of... maybe. Can never reach our dreams! Thanks, Hank Jill. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's very true. N no way! Don't fall for that, Your Honor! Hey, Mr. Dimas Kwe! Yes? If there's no funny business in your actions as Masked Star Dimas Kwe, there should be no problem with you telling us your strategy. So let's hear it. Yes, please provide this court with your testimony about your plan to steal the sacred urn. Mm, where is it uh, lagging? Oh, no, there we go. I first received a request from Lordly Taylor about 20 days ago. The urn was placed in a box and Zavadi was then sent to the warehouse. Hence, I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure, so I sent my card ten days beforehand. That's a lie. We all know it's yeah. garbage. I then handled security by myself to ensure that my crime would go smoothly. At last, I held the urn in my hands for the first time at 1 a.m. on October the 12th. That's not even true! Oddly specific. Shut up. Pretty much all the stuff we heard before, isn't it? Yeah. 
but we will find the truth hidden in the nuggets. Witness, you're sure <laughs> there are no mistakes this time. Zavadi. What does that even Very well then. Shut up. Mr. Friday may begin your cross-examination. Okay. But first I need a drink, cause I'm fucking thirsty. Okay. Bye. Are you leaving, leaving? He's gone. Damn. I wish I had some nuggies now. Now he had to tell you. I had to say nuggets, didn't he? Now I just want some McDonald's nuggies. They taste like nothing though. I do. And Whoa! So great. <laughs> Mm. You guys ever seen these like Brita water bottles? They're like, they're just like basic water bottles, but they have like a filter in them, so you can just fill it up with tap water. That's and neat. Then it tastes good. It's fucking delicious, and it was like four bucks at Target. It was great. I never Best liked Brita ever. water, sadly. I mean, it's better than not drinking water for me, so I don't I drink enough. Love tap water. Mm. Wait, are you being serious? Yeah, as long as it's cold, I can drink it. I hate water. Well, it depends, it depends where you live. It sucks in Florida. It's That's like what I hear. Sulfur and shit. So yeah, mm. I remember living in New York. It was actually really good. So New York tap water was good. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I don't trust the tap water in this apartment. It came out black once. Oh. <laughs> That's. You need more than a Brita filter for that. Yeah. You need an Exorcist for that. You want them sick charcoal filters, man? Oh yeah. Just drink vodka. It's fun. <laughs> good alternative. Good for cooking too. Yeah. You ever make macaroni and cheese with just vodka? Oh, I man. sure have. What the fuck are you people talking about? <laughs> well, this is what you do when you leave. This is what happens. You talk about macaroni and cheese and vodka? And Brita water filters, yeah. Jesus. Hmm. Well, all right then. Y'all ready for this ship? Yeah. Okay then. Well, let's uh, do this ship. I uh, received a request from Lord the Taylor about 20 days ago. That's that, true. That is true, so fuck that one. The arm was placed in a box in Zavari. It was then sent to the warehouse. Also How do you know which box? How do you know? It wasn't the paint-covered box. He didn't know which box it was. Press him! You mean this box? Yes, that pathetic box. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone calls Poor it box. pathetic. Lady Andrews was especially taken with that urn. And she wouldn't let anyone into the storeroom, not even me. Huh. Interesting new tidbit. It's a body. I'm able to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. Hmm. Let's see what else here. But that's where the... See, he's lying, though. Because, That's like, that part right there? Well, he's not lying about that, but he's actually telling the truth. Because I feel like, of course, he didn't see it and he didn't know what box it was in. Else he would have picked up the paint-covered box, because that was the real one. Hmm. And then he just shoved the urn into his bag and left. Hmm. That's why he left the box. So we want to press this one? I don't see what's wrong with pressing it. Alright, let's do it. So, you are sure that you had never seen the urn before? Indeed. You may ask Lady Andrews to confirm for yourself. My security was focused entirely on the entrance to that warehouse. However, I look at me, let no information whatsoever slip through my fingers. Hmm. Hmm. The urns still say that it's like worth nothing. No. I'm gonna press this anyway. Okay. You 